Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Rashid with you guys, Bionetal Company. Today our video number four and we're gonna talk about cold press and hot press. What's the difference between cold press and hot press uh, black seed oil? Uh, when you buy black seed oil, you always see on the labels cold press, cold press, cold press. Perfect. So the question is, where is hot press? And there is the answer. It's still here. And sometimes when you buy uh, black seed oil with the title uh, cold press, it's by fact it's hot press. But believe me, sometimes even producers, especially if producers from the Middle East, they even don't know that it's hot press because uh, what does it mean uh, cold press and, and hot press? Everybody thinks that, that if they're not heating up the seeds before they put it to the machine, then it means cold press. But why basically do we need to heat up the, 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 the seeds? Because when the seeds are hot, it's going smoothly through the machine. So that's why they're going faster, oil is going faster and there is no pressure uh, on the machines. So that's why when um, the oil producers, they put all those seeds into the machine, uh, seeds like it is, n n without heating it up, uh, they think, okay, it's, it's, it's enough, it, it's cold press, we're good. But not exactly. And because there is a, a moment about uh, this subject and we're gonna talk about it right now. So guys, uh, Let's uh, first of all see uh, what does it mean uh, cold press and what's the temperature of cold press. Basically, the uh, regulations of uh, oil extracting saying that it should be 113 or maybe 114 Fahrenheit, uh, which is for understanding Celsius, it's about 45 Celsius. Uh, over than that, it's already considered to be hot press. So, uh, the issue is that it's not only about that you put the, the cold seeds into the machine. The problem, and especially uh, on the Middle East, uh, the problem in the machine itself. Uh, we were talking in the last video about difference of the machines, right? And uh, the machines which uh, uh, Middle East uh, factories use, most of Middle East factories. Uh, the problem of those machines, and this is what most of uh, producers never even realize those machines working with a big quantity uh, it's a it's a huge uh, squeezing effect and um, the machine itself rise the temperature so they think when they put the seeds into the machine and the, the seeds are cold so it's called the press but it's not like that the machine itself inside is rising temperature it's a I don't know how to tell you guys in English, but this effect, like, you know, like, for example, if you do like this, now my, my hands are very warm. So this effect is going inside, inside the machine when, it, when it's squeezing the seeds. And as, as a faster machine working, as this effect, squeezing effect is, is, is higher, faster, and the temperature is going up crazy. Uh, sometimes when they extract oil in the Middle East, the, you can even see the smoke. So, uh, last video we were talking about um, uh, one time, two time press. So when they press two times, it's definitely gonna be hot press. You want it or you don't want it because you need to, to tie the machine for to, to squeeze the seeds a second time from that piece of plastic of, 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 of the seeds. So this is the reason, guys, why uh, Bionetal company is using, uh, as I told you in previous videos, uh, commercial machines, which you uh, can see here on the picture. We use only commercial machines because those machines are working slowly, squeezing slowly, very slowly, and we have the temperature we want. We give you really cold press uh, oil which is uh, 80, we, we, we are squeezing the oil with uh, 85 uh, foreign gates, which is like, for example, like uh, 29 Celsius, I guess, plus 29 Celsius. I mean, this is the most um, possible uh, cold press. Now, I never saw that uh, some machines can uh, extract oil with lower temperature. This is already low room temperature. 
the Middle East companies who use those big machines, which you can see on the video, uh, those machines, as I told you already, as I mentioned before, uh, inside those machines, the temperature is going crazy. And there is a trick how you should to um, check the uh, temperature of oil. Uh, it's not just like oil coming up and they put the, uh, the temperature uh, to, to, to record temperature uh, already after the oil released from the machine. Uh, it's, not, it's not working like that. The issue is that you need to put the, this to the metal in the place where uh, the oil is coming out from the machine. It should to touch the oil which is just coming out and the metal in this place. The problem of, the, of those huge machines in the middle is that uh, this uh, particular hole, you can see the video from where the oil is coming. It, 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 it's on the bottom. Those machines produced in the 60s, 70s. I mean, <laughs> those machines are not for, for the uh, modern production, especially if someone wants to follow FDA uh, and GMP uh, regulations. Definitely not. So uh, they cannot uh, put it somewhere inside uh, and, and, and see how, uh, by fact, what the temperature they have. But I want to tell you guys 100% that those machines increase temperature crazy because the machines are working on very high uh, speed because uh, companies in the Middle East, India, Egypt, um, they, they uh, supply not only United States. Even the United States is a huge market. They supply companies in Europe, in Asia, everywhere. They work 24 hours. Also, the machines, uh, when uh, the machines are working, the temperature rising with the time. For example, bayonetal every day extracting oil not more than three hours. Our machines are working all machines, but not more than three hours. On the Middle East, people working all day from morning till evening. But the problem is that after five hours, the temperature inside the machine also start to increase and increase and increase. No, it's it's like that. I mean, it's physics or whatever how you, how you wanna call it. So by the evening when they extract oil, you already can come to the factory and you, you smell like, is there is something burning around? <laughs> it's burning your oil, which is in bulk coming to United States, bottling in, in, uh, into uh, uh, small containers, labeling, and here we go. Looks beautiful, but what is inside? And inside is benzopyrene level crazy benzopyrene level that's why we have on our website certificate of benzopyrene the level of benzopyrene what we have is 0.95 and uh, the like in united states they basically uh, don't have regulations for uh, for the benzopyrene level uh, as i know it's only for water i guess uh, 0 0.51 uh, for the water, but oils can come to United States with benze high benzoprene level without any problems. As, as I know, as I know that FDA uh, they uh, they doesn't have uh, special regulations for this, but there is uh, international regulations, and benzoprene level should be not more than 2.0. So our benzoprene level of the bionetal oil, and you can see the certificate, is 0.95 with the standard 2.0, so we're good. The real story from my uh, friends in the Middle East that there is a company which sent the oil to the South Korea, and in South Korea they really careful about acid level and benzoprene level, and one company got banned in, in uh, South Korea. You know why? Because the benzopyrene level was 10.5. It's the same, it's like you uh, drink black seed, take black seed oil and smoke a box of cigarettes. Same. So, uh, and I know that those people, because I know them, those people also uh, export oil to United States. So that's why guys, you always need to be careful and know about the temperature, which temperature was used for uh, oil extracting and ask for benzoprene level of the producer 
or reseller, which are most of uh, uh, sellers in, in the United States, are resellers taking oil from outside and never uh, producing here in the United States. This is very important question, guys. Ask in the print level if you want to be in safe site. Besides that, guys, there is also something important beside the benzaparin, uh, which is uh, uh, me personally, I just find out when we uh, requested um, uh, to make analysis for benzaparin level of our bionetal oil, uh, we got from uh, United States laboratory from California, we got a, a huge report, of course, and it was uh, instead of one uh, benzaparin, it was uh, four positions. You, you, you can see, I, I will not pronounce it, guys, because <laughs> I cannot pronounce it. You can see on the screen. So uh, I was starting, I, I was calling to, to um, a laboratory, I asked it, uh, why uh, four positions? We, we, we requested benzaparin and, uh, and there are four positions. So they told me that this particular kind of uh, burning material, which is benzaparin, is burning material basically. Uh, it's not only benzaparin, there are also some uh, uh, stuff, now, as you see, well, I don't know how to pronounce it. So those four are important, not just benzaparin. And I started to in, uh, find the information in the internet, how it's work, I mean, because I knew uh, about benzaparin due to the problem of one Middle East company in South Korea, what's, the, what, what's happened, right? But I never know about another stuff. So um, when, when uh, I uh, was looking in the internet, I got information that all those four positions, including benzaparin, are important in total and the international, uh, international standards say, you can see also now uh, I open a window, uh, this is international table. You can see that the sum of those things should be not more than 10.0. So, and as you see, we have uh, six points sum uh, in total of those four positions. So we are good. And our oil is really good and not burn it and there is no any burning material. Uh, the guarantee, the certificates, Everything is here. So next time when you buy your oil, make sure that you buy what you really want and that it's really cold press. See you guys. Take care. Be healthy. And next video I'm going to talk about uh, filtered and non-filtered oil. Uh, what is the difference? Of course, on my opinion. See you.